Students were expected to evaluate integral 0 to 3 greatest integer function of x times dx. Now this could be rewritten in this fashion taking the integer quantity 0 to 1 positive 1 to 2 and then 2 to 3. So having uh, split this so what we have to find out is what happens when x varies from 0 to 1. Clearly the value would be 0. The greatest integer quantity for x when it varies from 0 to 1 is going to be 0. So we need to place the differential operator. In this case when x varies from 1 to 2 the value of the greatest integer function would be 1 here and in this case it's going to be 2 here. So this is what we need to integrate. Of course this is going to be 0 and integrating this would give me x the limits are 1 to 2 and integrating this would give me x the limits are 2 to 3 I substitute the upper limit minus the lower limit followed by 2 times the upper limit minus the lower limit this is going to give me 1 this is going to be giving me 2 of 1 which is equal to 1 positive 2 which is equal to 3 units so this is the solution you don't have to write it as units you can simply write it as 3 for this particular question. So let's move on to the next question. Now if in case they are asking us to find the area enclosed by the greatest integer function or area under the curve of f of x being equal to the greatest integer function of x then we can also apply graphical technique. So let me just draw the x-axis and the y-axis and let me mention the points 0 this is going to be 1 this is going to be 2 this is going to be 3 now definitely 0 to 1 this is going to be 0 and 1 to 2 the region is going to be 1 so this is 1 this is 2 and we got the point 3 over there so this is going to be a straight line there and there is going to be a discontinuity here there's going to be a break and it will start from 2 and it will move up to 3. So this is how the step looks or uh, the graph looks for the greatest integer function. So if we were to find the area under the curve then this is how it will look. Okay, so this is what is required. Now if you were to observe this, clearly this area is going to be 1 unit and this area is going to be 2 units. So the total area under the curve is going to be 1 positive 2 which is equal to 3 square units. So that would be the solution. So which is obtained merely by drawing the graph for the greatest integer function. So this is another way. So maybe probably I can represent this as 1 and 2. So let's move on to the next question, students. students